Uh, good afternoon, everybody, and uh, welcome to Ravenhill on what is uh, an absolutely devastating, tragic, and unforeseen day. Uh, we are here to mark the great tragedy which unfolded yesterday evening, the death of our Ulster rugby player and favourite, Nevin Spence, and also his father, Noel, and his brother, Graham. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my name is Shane Logan, and I'm the Chief Executive of Ulster Rugby, and beside me is uh, David Humphreys, who is the Director of Professional Rugby. I'd like to say three things. Firstly, on behalf of all of the Ulster rugby family, the Irish rugby family, and indeed the world rugby family, from whom we have many message of, messages of support, I would like to express our profound condolences to the family. Uh, this is an absolutely terrible time for the Spence family, and our prayers and best wishes are with them all. I would like to pay tribute, secondly, to an exceptional young man, a man who was killed in his prime, aged 22, with an immense future in front of him. And we know that because in his 22 years, he was a model individual and a model professional, a man of absolute integrity, complete determination, great humility, a fine team player, and an all-round exceptional individual. Thirdly, we in the rugby community are here to provide our help and support to, first of all, the family, to all of Nevin's fellow players, to our staff, to yourselves, the media, and to our many supporters. And we will endeavour to do that uh, the best way we can, starting with uh, this president now. Thank you. I'd like to pass you over, please, to David Humphreys. David. Thanks, Shane. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'd just like to start off by, on behalf of the professional players and professional team management, echo Shane's sentiments as to how devastated we all are by the loss of Nevin and our huge prayers, our sympathies are very much with the Spence family at this moment in time. In terms of Nevin, as a director of rugby, Nevin was a a dream player to work with. He was one of those players who sat down to talk about what his future held, where he saw his future going. He had a very simple answer. He was born in Ulster. He came through school in Ulster. He played rugby for Ulster. And all he wanted to do for the remainder of his career was to stay here, win trophies, and be successful with Ulster. In 2008, he came into our academy. And I took a very personal interest that coincided with my retirement. And I remember sitting down with Gary Longwell just after I started my job. And we were talking about our succession plan and where we were going to go as a squad. He said, one of the players who will come through and play for Ireland is Nevin Spence. Unfortunately, with the events of the last 24 hours, that is never going to come to that point. But for all of those of you who have followed Ulster Rugby, for those of you who followed Nevin's career on the pitch, what you saw is what you got with Nevin. He brought his commitment, his passion, his enthusiasm to every time he played, not just when he played, but also when he, he turned up for training. Talking to some of the players over the last 24 hours, Nevin will be missed because on days when nobody else wanted to come and train, he was there leading from the front. He played a central role on the pitch in our success over the course of the, those last three years, but probably more importantly in terms of what we were trying to develop in the culture in Ulster Rugby. Nevin was the epitome of what we were looking for. The characteristics that he showed when he played, those were very much transmitted into how he conducted himself off the pitch. As I said, he was always first into training. When we asked him to do commercial, corporate duties, things that players generally don't particularly enjoy, he was the first person to volunteer. It didn't matter whether he was playing for his club, for Ulster Ravens, as he was last Friday evening, or whether the senior team out there, everybody knew that Nevin was going to come and perform to his very best. I think from, from my perspective, from the players' perspective, Nevin will leave a huge hole in our professional squad. And as we move forward over the next decade, I have no doubt that Ulster Rugby will be our poorer place without him. Thank you.